Hello and hi again everyone um, This is your lecturer uh, Okay, the next project brief The project brief number 2 so Again, I'm just going to give a quick review For um, project brief number 2 On LDA 351 Professional Practice and Communication To let you know what uh, to expect from you for this uh, second project. So the title of the second project is uh, General Public Speaking. I'm just going to make it a little bit big here for you to see more clear. I hope so. So uh, the introduction for this assignment will be like each student are required to provide a five minutes of individual recorded speech in a video format. The theme of the speech is COVID-19, this is my story. So each student will have to produce their own five minutes recorded speech video. Right, this is an individual project. So the the title, the theme of the speech will be COVID-19 and this is my story. Students are free to choose to present their speech either in informative way or persuasive, technical or entertaining speech format. Do refer to my lecture on the type of speech, okay? To uh, know what I mean by this kind of speech format. So do refer back to my lecture previous. Each speech shall follow the general standard to have an introduction, of course, body, and a conclusion at the end. The emphasis should also be given to your body language during the speech. So, okay, so you have to do some uh, body language thing okay, during your speech. Students are required to submit a link to their video as well as their speech text as mentioned in the submission requirement. Okay, okay. Again, uh, so we'll go to the learning outcomes at the end of this assignment. Uh, student is expected to be able to demonstrate an effective communication to understand and respond to the question in public and group communication. Additionally, they also be able to give a speech by using alternative media to add value to themselves. So look, I understand during this MCO period, uh, there are a lot of constraints for you to you know, um, come up on a real stage to sp to speak in front of a small group of people, in front of your friends. <laughs> but uh, this is what we can do at least. Uh, you have uh, to make your own pre-recorded version of you to speak in front of your camera. And I will assume and, uh, and I will take it uh, like uh, to meet this general purpose of this pro uh, second project which is uh, general public speaking so um, of course this project will meet the course learning outcome number two demonstrate an effective communication to understand and respond to question in public and group communication and um, so before we go to submission requirement just gonna take a look the distribution marks for this project so, uh, as you can see on the screen, the four items uh, that are included in this, uh, this uh, project brief. The first one, okay, content and speech text, that will be eight marks for this. Delivery and confidence, ten marks will be given. Clarity and body language, eight. Answering and overall presentation, four. And total up will be 30 marks. And that will contribute to overall 30% of the total evaluation for this semester. So uh, the details of the breakdown, you can see in this assessment breakdown rubrics here. So again, uh, uh, it's not my intention to go in detail, so I just let you to read it by yourself to get a clear view of how I am going to assess you with this uh, project number two here. So you have a chance to download this assignment brief from 
the U Future or Island platform. I just uploaded this, this project brief. So now let's go to submission requirement here. So, what need you? <coughs> what are the things you need to know in uh, in the submission requirements? Okay, the first one, you need to submit a set of recorded speech video. Okay, I mean a set. Uh, you need to compile all these two things together. Recorded speech video. Okay, the format of this video. I just let you be creative, but uh, normally people um, will conveniently play the video format in the MP4 or AVI format. So, I think uh, most of the video making uh, apps or yeah, apps out there uh, can uh, produce this kind of uh, format for you. Uh, the first one is a recorded speech video and the, the whole text of the speech. So you also need to submit your text of your speech, okay? The text of your speech, okay? The structured text of your speech because it count in your marks here. So if you fail to submit this, so you will lose eight marks here, right? In a PDF size in a single file. Students need to strictly follow the duration time allowed for the speech. Okay, you are only allowed to spend on your speech approximately, or no, not approximately, exactly maximum of five minutes. So please practice to meet this time. Okay, to meet this period of time. The third, whole compilation, all compilation should be referenced accordingly and attached with assessment rubric form in the same file. So this is the assessment rubric form that you need to attach together with your um, text of your speech. Okay. All compilation shall be referenced according to okay this one I've I've read it before. The fourth all submission shall be uploaded or linked to the U Future platform or Google Classroom. I'll let you know when the time when the time is come. No mark will be given for a late submission and all submissions shall be only in English. So I hope that you are all clear with this instruction of submission requirement. And uh, again, uh, like I mentioned previously in uh, project brief number one, I will upload this video in the YouTube, my YouTube channel. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So um you can have it download if you want to and those people who have uh, difficulties to view uh, to download my video you can always stream okay by whatever speed of your line uh, network line uh, will be if you have slow network line at your area so the streaming uh, i mean i mean will stream according to your network network okay so um that's all from from me for project brief number two okay thank you and best wishes for you guys bye